E, E. I'm pressing E. Wait, it doesn't have a saddle. It doesn't have a saddle. So get her. What is in the world? What is up the world? That is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things back playing some mark genesis 2 ladies and gentlemen and i have a plan for today plans within plans you probably know from the title of the video uh but i have plans within plans but to start off with we have a couple of things we should probably do a little technological advancements ladies and gentlemen the tech canteen Yes, that's right. If you did not know this was the thing, get ready. Because I'm going to explain where... Uh, the, there we go. I'm going to explain some stuff and things to you. Right here, the tech canteen. Look at this. Previously, uh, we had the canteen, right? What do you get? Like three? One, two, three. Can't even consume water. I got too much water. We get three of these deals. But now, ladies and gentlemen, the tech canteen. We'll fill that bad boy up. And right here, you can see in the description, holds three times the water of the standard canteen. That would be three. Carry the one. 12? No, nine? Nine drinks? <laughs> I can't do math. Um, so this holds three, and this is three times that, so that's nine uh, total drinks. So that's pretty unbelievable and amazing. I think I might just drop that right there. No need. Goodbye, the canteen. Uh, so pretty cool. This also helps, I do believe, with um, weather effects, like coolness and hot. If you get too hot or you get too cold, I think with the tech canteen, we can drink that, and that will help us consume. There we can see right there in the corner, we get a couple of effects. Stamina drain reduction and iced water cooling you down. So that looks awesome. All right. And then in the last episode, you guys, we made this guy. A little baby that I've named Baby Fail Baby. Uh, baby Fail Baby. Thumbs up for the name, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and what we were trying to do here is breed our gigas to make a baby that we could euthanize. Because we have a euthanized gun. Check this out. We have this gun right here. Uh, in superstructures, euthanasia gun, and we can kill dinos with it like instantly if we want to. Um, no, 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 let's not do that. Let's not kill. Hey, 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 they're back. We're not going to kill any babies, okay? No baby dinosaurs were harmed in the making of this video, mostly because this uh, plan that I have doesn't work. If the plan that I had worked, there would be a lot of babies that would be harmed in the making of this video. But uh, they're just fictitious and pixel based life forms, not real organic. Okay, so anyway, uh, baby fail baby. Uh, we took this guy and we used the um, mutator to make a pulse of energy that would keep this into uh, as a baby. Now, uh, you can see the maturation is stuck at 4.3%. Uh, the food is going down now. It's like, it's like slowly going up. I think yesterday it was at like 400 and something. Uh, you can see now, wait, wait. I think the pulse went away. Hold on a second here. So we can't clone it. Wait, 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 wait. Age freezing pulse. Freeze the age. Didn't work. No, it did work. Okay, so the age of this baby is now frozen. You can see... Huh, that is weird, man. So you can see that it's frozen because of the little hourglass. You see that hourglass? But yesterday, when I came here and we did this, it's, it froze its food and it froze its health. So now it looks like the food... Ah, there we go. The food is frozen. So wait a second. Let me just check some stuff and things here. If I ball this guy and then I go ahead and squirt him back out... No longer a baby frozen. Ah, interesting information. So it looks like the nanny was giving it some food. So now uh, it's no longer a frozen deal. Now, hold on. Can I clone it now? I can't. So give me a second here. I need... Wait. I need... Uh, I need this out of here. This guy's got a four-minute timer. I'm going to pop over here. Stops nearby dinos from aging. No, don't change mode. Back to the other mode. Like so. Age freezing pulse. All right. There you can see it's got the hourglass now. Now, can I clone it? No! All right. So that doesn't matter. I wanted to test whether um, when frozen in age or not frozen in age, um, you can clone it. So it doesn't look like we can clone a baby at all, um, which is unfortunate because that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this to kind of uh, cheat the system a little bit to make uh, easy XP. So I don't think that's going to be able to happen. So I guess since we can't have a baby Giga, we'll just let this Giga grow up and then maybe we'll change the name from Baby Fail Baby to Baby success baby or baby xp baby 
or I don't know, something amazing. But I'm hoping that we'll be able to do that and we'll be able to use uh, this guy to get some hot XP for us. So for right now, let's go ahead and pop this guy over here like so. Maybe put you on follow to bring you over here a little bit closer to the nanny. So we're hot. We're good, we're good. So we'll bring this guy over here. All right, so the other thing that we were gonna get into because we're gonna be doing some breeding, just come over here. Oh, he's imprinting. You're so excited. I know it's amazing, fail baby. Um, was mutagen, ladies and gentlemen, mutagen. Now, stop right there. Just hang out right here. When I come back, I expect you to be ginormous. Ginormous and huge mungus. Do you hear me? All right. I think they understand. All right, so uh, we talked about mutagen and mutagel. So right here, the mutagel, right? And then if you remember, actually, hold on. I'll show you this. When we go up to our, uh, where are you here? That guy, this guy right here. Now, if we have, what is it, 800? We could turn 800 mutagen into some mutagel. I can't remember. Oh, no, no, no. Mutagel into mutagen. I can't remember how many we get for 800. It's like more than one. I, I don't know exactly what it is. But, um, but yeah, we have to figure out a way to get this and get it a lot faster. Now, there are times when out in space you can gather some up. Uh, but there's another place on the map where we can get a lot of it. Now, let me just double check and see in my inventory here what I got going on. Uh, I got a lionfish here. I kind of probably want to take a couple of dinos that are good. Let me see about our rexes. Oh, there's something else that I wanted to check real quick as well. Uh, this guy is the clone, or this lady is the clone, pardon me. Megabyte. We're going to take Megabyte with us, just in case. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you guys was up here. So right here, remember our cementing paste factory? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. It is working amazing. Quite nice, in fact. And... We're getting some organic polymer too. So what we could do is use our uh, transfer gun like that. And then one of these is a checha paste and one of them is uh, not. So I think it's like this and like that. There we go. Only 188,000. And then we're up to 831 uh, organic polymer as well. So that's working great. All right. What about our sharts farm? 10,000, 12,000 sharts from our sharts farm. Not bad. Let's go ahead and pop those guys over into here. Now we have 2,300,000. Uh, let's go up top uh, all the way and check out what's going on with these two guys here. Oil? Yep, working good. All right, so this is our, oh, fertilizer farm, right? Yeah, there's our beetles. There's our pheomias. Do we have enough fertilizer? What's going on over here? Okay, well, it looks like fertilizer is fine. There's not a problem with us not having enough. Huge amounts of vegetables, so that's all working out great. All right, so that, that seems to be good. Uh, we do have a little bit of oil inside of here. And then in this guy, remember, this is our honey. Uh, and it looks like it's working perfectly fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab that soul terminal there. And then if I dip, dodge, dive, duck. Damn it. There you go. 16,000 oil. All right, great. So all those farms are working really, really good. Uh, the next order of business is we have to head over and try to explore the Rockwell Cave. Now, we've been in the cave before, but I want to go deeper. I want to explore deeper and see what this is all about. But before we go down into the depths, we need to do a couple of things. First of all, no, no. Heavy auto turret? Yeah, no. Uh, wooden triangle foundation? No. Um, we have to do a couple of things. So I'm looking for something over here. I already did a little bit of a scan. 6330 is what we're looking for. Uh, and it's a shine horn. We need a light pet. Uh, down inside of the Rockwell Cave, remember, there are Reapers and stuff down inside of there. And so if we hope to survive, we'll probably need a light pet for sure. Uh, I know that there's one, like I said, around 6330. Oh, we are at 6330. It should be right here somewhere. Uh, probably down over here. We got to be really careful because these guys are super, super small. 6330. And maybe it's down even deeper. Let's pop down over here. I might use my owl to get a better look around at some stuff and things. Uh, and we need some mushrooms to tame this guy. Now, I've already got the mushrooms in my yieldy inventory. And you can find them. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see one around here. What you're looking for are those. They're like larger mushrooms with the little gaseous bottoms. Remember yesterday when we were taming or a couple days ago when we were taming up the Giga? The bottom, uh, there was a mushroom there that I said that farted. That's the mushroom that we're looking for. So I'm almost positive that the shine horn that I wanted to find here is dead and gone. Um, this is definitely a dangerous area. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not stop hitting ships. 
I am absolutely hitting ship. I'm absolutely hitting space. I cannot fly. Okay. Jeez Louise. So anyway, uh, a little bit of a disaster there real quick. And I can't hit anybody. I'd like to kill these guys just to take a look in this area and see if we can find the Shinehorn. Okay, this might take too long. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? There's the... Just E. E. I'm pressing E. Wait, it doesn't have a saddle. It doesn't have a saddle. Slip get her. Just get out of there. Just run away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank God. Oh, is it safe? Oh, that was so close. Okay. Mistakes were made. Uh, that was the, that, the, that was terrifying. Holy crap, you guys. I got no pants on, man. What's up, Fat Albert? What's up, homie? Dude, let's give him some stamina. Only 7,500. Uh, got our armor repaired. Got a saddle for our T-Rex. And we are now looking for the Shinehorn here. Are you him? 34, uh, or no, 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 fit something, something. It's supposed to be in this area. <laughs> uh, 4235 is what we're looking. These guys are super small, so I thought it might be a good idea to go ahead and bust this guy out. But it seems like there's, a, like, aggressive dinosaurs every place that I check so far. Uh, but I feel like he's got to be around here somewhere. Um, I got our mushrooms. We're ready to rock over there. 4235. This guy's supposed to be around here. There's got to be, like, come on, man. Where's the Shinehorns at? Dude, there it is, right there. So this guy's a high level guy, I think, right? We got two shine horns right over here. Like so and like so, what are you at? 150, let's do this. Uh, wait, <clears throat> calm down, calm down, everybody. It's gonna be fine, everything's gonna be fine. Dun, 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 dun. Nice, high level shine horn, shine deal. Dude, the perfect name for a shine horn. Uh, bam, what about your buddy? What, two of them? Dude! Mrs. Shine deal. What are the chances? Like, what are the freaking chances? Where'd you go, Mrs. Shine deal? Whoa, 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 Mrs. Shine deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? Are you even real? Okay, we got it. Fat Albert, come back to me as well. What are the chances that we find two of these guys exactly in the same space? That's kind of freaking unbelievable, man. I'm super excited about that. Two 150s. Okay, so before we go down inside of there, let's check a couple of things here real quick. Juvenile fail baby is rocking and rolling. You know what? Hold on. What can we can we mutate or can we clone a juvenile? No soul traps. Dude, so many things are going wrong right now. Like so. Ten of these. Craft. Alright. Juvenile fail baby. We're crafting, so we can't move. Come on. Come on. All right, uh, here we are. Let's stop. Nope. Oh, God. Are we still? Okay, everything's fine. Uh, yeah. Where are you? Giant female fail baby right here. So when you're a juvenile, can you be cloned? Let's see here. Clone? No dinos nearby. All right, so juveniles can't be cloned. Next order of business, let's get shine deal. Uh, female shine deal. Didn't we have a dude shine deal as well? Wait, were they both ladies? Lantern goat, female, lantern goat, female. Both lady deals. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Uh, go like so and like this. And then now, there we go. Dude, it's another shine deal. This is a maze. All right. So maybe what we could do here is do one more. Uh, it doesn't matter which one we clone. Oh, now we're out of shards. All right. So hold on. I'm going to drop these. I have these right in my inventory. We'll drop those right inside of there. Clone a shine deal. All right, so now we got three of these bad hombres. Like so and like so. And then let's uh, switch this shine deal out for this shine deal. Squirt you on the ground like so. Uh, yep, yeah, that's the other one, I think. We'll clone no nearby dinos. There we go. Oh, my God. So many things are happening. All right, so we'll get all these guys like that and like this and like that. All right, now the other day I was talking about this. Uh, making some charge batteries for the hog. So, uh, what we're going to do is pop up here. And then inside of here, let me see if I can build this. Charge? Is that what it's called? Yeah, right there. The tech. Oh, you know what? I might have one. Hold on a second here. Do we have a tech charge station? 
Let's check in our building before we just go ahead and build it. I don't know. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Had to, had to make sure, though. All right. So inside of here, we're going to make the charge station. Charge like this. And then hopefully we have all the things we need in order to make it. No! Element ore. Element ore. Wait, how am I going to get element ore? And I need 10 batteries. So I can make the charge batteries. You guys, seriously, though, how are we going to make element ore? There isn't a thing. That's not a thing. Uh, Can we... Let me see. Let's pop inside of here real quick. Elements... No, there's nothing. So you can turn like shards into element. We could turn element into shards. I don't know if there's a way to make element or dude, that sucks. I might not be able to make the charge station, which I really wanted just, just to make it. We don't really need it. Um, and I'll show you why that we don't need it. So we can go into our charge batteries here. Let's go ahead and let's say, let's make five of these like so. So we don't need to make the charge station. What it does is it uses charge from the light pets to charge up batteries. Uh, now we can just put them inside of here. And I do believe as long as they're in the hog, it may have to take a second. He's fully charged. Okay. Let me see. Do we have to disable passive battery charging at full charge? Let's disable it. Let's enable it. And we're still... No, there it is right there. It's working. It's working. Uh, we're getting charged, I think. Yeah, there it is. It's working. So we can charge the batteries up in here for sure. It would just be cool to have the charging station as well. I'm not sure where we can get element ore, but it's perfectly fine because we got the thing. Uh, this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and pop over here. Let's pop you out of here. All right. Grab that. I can't even. Just whatever. Just fix him up. We got stuff and things to do. Uh, next order of business. Let me go ahead and grab one of my shine deals. Are you a clone? You are. We'll throw you down on the ground here. That is not what I was looking for. All right. Let me grab this guy. Back in the Rockwell cave. Now with more unbelievable and amazing shine action, ladies and gentlemen. We have light. All right. So uh, hopefully we have enough emission for this just in case we run into a reaper. You know what actually I'll do? I'll turn it off and I'll only use it if we, if we see a reaper or we need to see a reaper. Now, we've been inside here before in an early episode and we saw one of these guys and promptly ran away. No, that's not what I wanted. Crap on a cracker. Hold, please. Uh... Yeah, those guys right there, summoners, right? They're bad news bears. Squirt this guy back over here. Oh, oh, crap, 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 crap. This whole area is like intense, man. Yeah, those summoners are bad news. We don't even want to mess with that. Let's just go deeper in, man. Let's just get, let's just get out of here. We're just going to fly. We're going to go deeper in. There's Basilisk right there. There's another summoner over there. And what we're looking for here is the Rockwell heart. The heart of the cave. The heart of stuff and things. Oh my god, you guys, this place is crazy. Ugh. Oh, what is that? Do you hear that? I heard something, like the beating of a heart. I heard it again. Okay, okay, okay. Tentacles! There's tentacles! Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not touching buttons. Everything's weird. Let's go through here. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, let's go! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go. I can't. Uh, something's up. Something's up. Oh, I had an effect. I had an effect. Go. Run. Crap. Run. Go. Crap. Crap. I can't talk to you right now, Helena. Who can talk to you right now? I need to get to a spot. Okay, okay. Be honest now. Have I overindulged here? I can't be objective. What eludes me about this creation business is knowing when oh. I've gone too far. Whoa! You really don't want to hear my opinion. Okay. Dude, there's eyeballs. Oh, God, it's looking at me. Dude, does it follow you? Oh, gross. It's the worst. Dude, no. Look at the cave. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. The heart of the Rockwell Cave, ladies and gentlemen. And possibly the thumbnail of the video. You you were here for it. Thumbs up. We have a little bit of a problem. And that is that I used the shards that I had in order to do a little bit of cloning. And so I don't have any in my inventory right now. Let's go like so and like so. I did think ahead a little bit though. Whoa, don't go down too far. Don't go down over there. Oh, wait. Maybe we do want to go down over here. 
I kind of feel like this is where we want our teleporter to be. Dude, the heart is beating. This is crazy. Let's go over here. Let's drop this. Like so. All right, we got a bad ombre coming up. I can't use my shards. Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Okay, we got those guys. So I just want to rename this really quickly. Uh, rename awesome teleporter. We'll call it Rockwell Heart. Like so. All right. And then what we've got to do now is we do need to go get some shards really quick. Okay. I hear that down in this area, there is mutagel. Uh, and we can get a lot of it. But there's also bad ombres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I want to see here... Okay. Oh, no oh, crap. Dude, how many hits does it take to kill this guy? Okay, we got that guy down. We got the Seeker, too. I don't know if I can hit him. Okay, I hit the Seeker. Oh, 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 all right. I don't know what these going on with these balls. I think the balls... Okay, okay. What happened? There it is right there. Your movement speed is decreased and your tech super speed stuff. Like... So it, I think it stops us from being able to use the tech suit. I think it's what goes on with that. So we need to not get hit by balls. And we need to take all these guys out down over here. Don't hit me. Don't hit me with the ball. Okay. So here's the problem. Or here's the thing. Down inside of here, I think is what we're looking for. So when this goes down, we can pop down inside of here. Can we just eat them? Yeah. Mutagel. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gathering it. Okay. So what happens is the, the, the acid goes down and then it goes up. So there we go. The acid's coming up. We got these guys that might attack us. We have the tentacle deals that might attack us. But here's the other thing. Uh, I think you can use the whip or the the uh, the drill. We could use uh, this guy. Do we have it right there? Yeah, the mining drill in order to gather these guys. But I have another uh, amazing theory. The hog. Ladies and gentlemen, can we gather them this way? Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. All right, we're being attacked. We're being attacked. Hold up. Hold up. Where you at? Where you at? Oh yeah, you think you got what it takes? Can't even see you. Okay, we got him. All right, so let's see here, the hog, and let's see how fast does this stuff respawn. All right, so we got that over there. So we got a little bit. It doesn't seem to respawn very quickly though. Um, we gotta move around. We can't move around too much. Obviously, we don't want to go into the acid. Let's go ahead and stop for a second here, and let's let me check and see. We already got 200, so that's not bad. I mean, that is definitely not bad. We got 200. It doesn't look like it's respawning very quickly. Damn, crap on a cracker. Uh, there's more over here, but it looks like it might be hey, a little bit hard for me to get the hog around over to there. Go like this. Oh, we got another tentacle. Four? Four? There we go, bud. All right. Okay, we got that guy. Like so. All right, there we got a little bit more. All right, we got a little bit more. All right, 63. So that was like 270-ish total in this one little area. It looks like there's more over there as well. Uh, but here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and let's teleport back to base. Because I, I think... I wonder if I can make this work a little bit better. Let's head back to base. Uh, the hourglass. I'm going to leave the hog here and I'm going to teleport him. If I ball him, he loses all of his charge. So we'll go like that. We'll bring the hog back this way. And then I'll have all of his charge. All right. So I think that there's a mission that will allow us to get faster respawning. Right? So... There's a mission. If we complete it, we'll get faster respawning. I don't know which mission it is. Um, I got to take a look over here and see. I think I have a mission terminal over in this area. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to get a teleporter and put it down near a mission terminal. Aptly named the Slipstream Sweep, which is the name of our stream, which, by the way, is Monday through Friday from 5 to 9 on twitch.tv slash slipgator. Now, I'm just doing the gamma mission. I've never done this before. Oh, dude! I've never flown this thing. I forgot to even build it. I can't even remember what it's called. Lol. Uh, okay. Race starting soon. Okay, here we are. Oh, dude, we just did a trick. Oh, oh it's a little bit of a thing. 
Okay. Oh, we can hold space in order to... Yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is amazing. I'm doing great. Oh, yeah, we're in there. Okay, it's really hard to see. Really, really hard to see. I think there's damage that happens here, too. Okay, hold up. No, don't hit that. Why'd you hit that? It was dumb. Oh, we're going. This is happening. Perform a trick for extra time. Oh, down. Out of bounds. No, we're fine. I think we want to do these tricks for extra time. No! Dude, that's like impossible. Okay. Okay, space is like a boost, I think. Okay, all right, we got a thing. It was not bad. Ugh, feeling these drops in my stomach. And I don't have a stomach. We're doing amazing tricks. I'm just really concentrating. Whoa. Were you a surfer back on Earth? Nope. How long is this gonna take? We got three more minutes. Let me see if we can do this. Oh crap, I missed it. Like completely. Okay, okay, all right. I, I mean, I, I feel like we're doing okay. I, have, I really have no idea. I've never done this before. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is bad. This could be bad. Oh, we made it. Dun, 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 dun. All right, feeling confident. I'm trying to go, there's fans. Oh God, this could be bad. Don't hit it. Oh god, you stupid dumb. And then There you go. Really leaning. Dude, to uh, this feels really long. Oh, we got it. We did it. That was it. No one's faster than you. Nice. Dude, number 1 time on the server. And and we're out. And? Number one in yeah, number one on the server. Dude, hey, Shine Buddy. I forgot about you. Uh, we got some levels. Let's pump charge regen, uh, capacity, and charge emission. All right, let's grab that guy. Okay, so we did the mission. We have increased respawn uh, of stuff and things. Can I see that in here somewhere? I don't know if I can. Um, but you can see it down inside of here. So right there. We have resource regen increased. So natural resources regenerate faster. Now this is just the gamma level. Let's go back to Rockwell Heart. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, a little bit dangerous right there. <laughs> all right, so that was scary. Um, all right, so we're gonna pop down over here and then remember what we're gonna have is all of these tentacles again, probably So we're gonna have tentacle action. We've got to take care of let's just kind of come down and go slow. There we go Okay, I think two hits and we're good Any other ones respawn? There was like a bunch over here. I thought oh no not more than two hits Okay. All right, those guys are good. If I come down right over here. Hey, I thought I already got you, man. Okay, I think we're okay. So now we're going to hog it up. Oh God, these things. Are you after me, dude? There's, uh, some of them have like ridiculous amount of levels. Jeez Louise. No, 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 no. Crap, 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 crap. Are you dead? I'm trying to get resources here. There we go. There's two down. There's three down. Are we good now? All right, let's see. Still haven't respawned. Really? Okay. Well, we just got 12. Huh. I thought it would make the respawn rate much faster. Oh, is it? 
maybe it only affects stuff that's already re I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. We might have to wait around a minute. I'm just going to wait around a minute and see how this works out for me. Because over here, you can see these ones, I feel like, are respawning, like, almost instantaneously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if it's only affecting the stuff that I hadn't harvested. The stuff that I already harvested, it's still on the original timer. Look how fast that's happening now. Dude, that is amazing. The other mutagel has not respawned yet i've been here for quite a while but this little patch right here you guys just is infinitely respawning now i don't know if this is completely from the slipstream mission i know that we have adjusted the configs i've adjusted the configs so that the the resources respawn a little bit faster but you can see before they weren't respawning quickly and then after we did the mission we had not gathered these up yet and look at this man because of that slipstream mission, this is like nearly unlimited. Like it just continues to gather, it continues to gather. Look at all this that we've got just from a few minutes of being here. Uh, my charge capacity is a little bit low. Yoink, we'll use the battery that we charged up. One, two, three. Uh, that's 2,038 so far that we've gotten from this area. Uh, I am going to go ahead and head home now. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid. Uh, let's just go ahead and head back to the hourglass. little bit scared to be in that area it's a little rough over there but there you can see we've got a couple thousand uh in no time at all so it takes a, i don't know what do you think it was like maybe two minutes to do that mission maybe two minutes uh and then let's go up to wait what i need to be there it is uh here so maybe two minutes to do that mission and then we're gtg over here i'm gonna leave 500 of these in here uh, and then we're good to go to craft this. Uh, I think I need to get a little bit of hot gas action. Let me see if I have any in the base even. Gasoline. We don't have any? Wait, I have some in my inventory. Uh, we'll drop that over here. Turn this guy on. And then go ahead and craft one. Really, just one. And we made six. Six mutagen. Uh, from just the one. Let's maybe move a little bit more over. So it's six to one. 800 for six. So there's 12 total. And now we have 400 mutagel, 438 mutagel, and 12 mutagen. Now, how much is it going to cost for me to boost one of my dinos? Let's pop over inside of here and take a look. If we put this inside of you, it should say here, 9,000! 12 of 9,901. Okay, that is uh, unrealistic. Uh, completely unrealistic. Let's see about uh, snarf here. How much do we need for snarf? 95 okay so that could be a thing so we actually might be able to do this let's go ahead and pump that on you so 95 in order to get this guy leveled up but you guys we got a lot of cool stuff and things going on here today we got some shine horns up and running uh we went down to the rockwell heart we got mutagen and mutagel ready to rock and roll so we could do even more amazing breeding and we found out that um our whole baby plan was a huge fail thank you so much for joining me ladies and gentlemen Make sure if you'd like to shed some light on this video, hit the thumbs up button and show your support. I'll see you guys in the next one. And may the stuff of things be with you.